How'd it wind up under there? It's loaded. Not one round fired. It must have happened fast. Hmm. Knives. Not one touched. Maybe they are though. <gasps> There's one missing. One knife's missing. The biggest one. That sh. Well, no, his hands were yanked off. What are those? What oh. is it with Italians and olives? They lap those things up like caviar. Ugh. I'm Italian, so. Like a true bachelor, you should have put these into soak. Yeah. Hours of scraping to get them clean. Although at this stage, I don't think Baccarini's too worried about that. No, probably not. He's dead. Four glasses. Two of water, two of wine. Someone was here. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good wine when I see one. Mm. Leftover lasagna. And it looks good. Why is it that two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks? <laughs> I'll never understand what the deal is with them in cooking. <laughs> the plates and the glasses leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. Yes. Hmm. Shut from the inside. Okay. So let's go to the board. So I have nothing about the for the eyes yet. But I might have some stuff on the assault. Pieces of glass from the so it was definitely from the window. Found inside the house. A door in the kitchen. Nope. Dirty plates, glasses, and silver. Nope. A pistol. Full pistol. Of but it was shot quick. A broken whiskey glass. An open bottle of whiskey. Okay. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Okay. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Huh. Where did the torture begin? A broken table, scratched and covered in blood. Two pools of blood. Definitely the right there. Side of the dining room table. A blood-stained wristwatch with a glass blood stain showed that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. Okay. That was where his hands were torn off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. Yeah. How did the body reach its current position? The trail of blood from the dining room to the... A door in the kitchen. Locked. Nope. A broken whiskey glass. Okay. So I got some of it. Still got some more things that I'm missing. Hmm. This game is really, really fascinating. I'm having fun. Where... What am I missing? Hello, Baccarini. I go upstairs. Oop. Takes a strong man to tear that out. Or several. Oh, there's more stuff this way. Alright, so what did I get? The lamp. Torn off its brackets and blocking Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. Hmm. I just gotta figure out how he tore out the eyes now. Oh, there's more this way. Interesting. Hmm. Jammed shut from the inside. Maybe between the two of us when Milton gets back. If I'm not mistaken, this door opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. Hmm. Oh my god. I figured out how they got the eye out. A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of a mixture of sticky liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's eyes. The mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy 
Occultist fanaticism. Which is it? Motive. Dirty plates, glasses, nope. and so A broken whiskey glass. Nope. What looks like the bo Nope, nope, nope. A door in the corridor. Okay. It the mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest- So I need the motive. There's an open door. Oh, it's the bathroom. Oh, it's the bathroom. Oh, shit. I should have stayed in my diner. Yeah. Yeah, you probably should have, because that's the... Bleh. Okay. Um. Sounds... Sounds good. Oh, I have to open up all the fingers. Do I have to go all the way to the back? Are these teeth from the body? Well, at least I know why his teeth were pulled out, more or less. Oh, really? Oh. What is that? Is that a penis? Looks like a penis. Looks like a ritual. Paul's no, looks more like a penis. Alright, so we have some kind of symbol drawn in blood. Dirty plate. A sick altar of human flesh. Although I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth, I'd say the motive was some kind of occult religion. The big question is, who did it? Hmm. Final room. This car looks too classy for a forger like Baccarini. It's a very classy car. Sufficient reasons to believe that when the murderer attacked Baccarini, there was someone else in the house. The first possibility to be ruled out is that the car belonged to Baccarini. Hmm. Let's take a look in the glove compartment. Why not? Bingo. A man's cigarette case. Oh, be one of the Baccarini clan. Hmm. Oh. The initials OB on a cigarette case. Vermont plates. Someone drove a long way. Hmm. This is interesting. The car with Vermont plates. One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three. The initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. Yep, yep. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from it. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. Mm -hmm. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? A door in the kitchen, locked. Mm. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. Mm -hmm. The real question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? A door in the corridor jammed. A door in the kitchen. Oh yeah. 
One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? God dang it. It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. I didn't notice there was a doorbell. Says the man Milton had left in charge of an important investigation. So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Jeez. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking. More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me. <laughs> Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Now you're going to help me break down a door, buddy. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible, but you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. <laughs> Such a gentleman. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sofia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Maybe. It's hard to say. You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? <laughs> Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it. <coughs> you couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. Hmm. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it, but I didn't intend to. Okay. No more questions.